Hi Pisces. I didn't get anything clear audience for you. I tried, but it's getting clouded. It was getting clouded with a, a specific message and I don't know if that message will mean anything to a lot of you guys. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but it was basically Kevin Samuels said, fuck y'all. <laughs> That's the only thing I heard. Okay, um, let's see. We're just gonna move past that and jump right into the, because I don't know what that's about. I don't even really believe, I don't know, I don't know if I believe he's actually dead. I wouldn't put it past him to just like fake his death for some weird reason and come back at his own funeral or something. Um, but that is the only Claire audience message that came through. It's very specific. I don't know who that is for. But what message aside from that, or what energy are my Pisceans embodying right now? What energy are my Pisceans embodying right now? Queen of Wands energy. There's a decision that you need to make though, Pisces. Queen of Wands is here at the bottom of the deck, so this is you standing in your power, but I feel like you're on the precipice of that because I feel like it hasn't actually happened yet. I feel like there's a choice that needs to be made. And the Seven of Cups is all about making that choice. They're standing firm in a decision that you have made, okay? So that's the underlying energy here we have with this Queen of Wands. It's, so it's like something you can take charge of or control, cultivate, but you have to make the choice to do it, Pisces. So let's get into the tarot and see. Um, <laughs> oh, we got two cards that fell right off the bat. The world, the Nine of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Swords. We have the Hangman here. Hmm, maybe some of you are trying to decide on a love option. Or if you wanna move somewhere, if you wanna complete some area of study or change your mind about something else. We'll see. Okay. What does the tarot have for my Pisceans? We have, first up, the Page of Wands. Some kind of news. Maybe about a creative endeavor. Just some kind of good news. It's usually good news with the Page of Wands. Oh. But we have, it's being crossed here by the Ten of Swords current focus, the ten, or the three of pentacles, but I want to say ten of pentacles. Maybe dealing with friends or family. Let's see. Then we have the devil out here, Capricorn energy as the advice. I just heard lock it in. Lock it in. Interesting. Then one more card for my Pisceans. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, I feel like this is a choice in love. You may be getting asked out on a date or something. Look at that. The lover's at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, not necessarily. This, this is just a choice overall. Your overall energy came out, Queen of Wands, taking control of a situation and then, you know, making a choice. And beneath that, we have the lover's reversed. Interesting. Wow. Let me see here. The lovers reversed. The hangman. These were all reversed. The page of wands and the queen of cups. Some of you may have decided that you don't want to work on something you're not thinking about it anymore. I feel like you could have already just put it out of your mind. And it could be dealing with a Queen of Cups, another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Or this is what's at risk if you don't make a decision because all of these were reversed. The lovers reversed. Stagnation and making a choice. 
hangman reverse, being kind of stuck in a situation, not in a good way. Bad news because you're not moving forward in a situation. And then you ending up in some sort of emotional turmoil or in a, you know, in a kind of a bad way because you're not making a decision. So whatever this is, I feel like it's something you possibly have been sitting on for a while, Pisces. Um, you'll know what that is for you, but you're being told to make a choice here. This could be you, this page of swords as the current energy, maybe not even good news. This could be you delivering the news. I feel like this is some of you. I'm hearing that song, Wake Up Everybody. Wake Up Everybody. I don't know this song, but it's about somebody taking action. Something that you need to take action toward. You might need to send correspondence to someone else, or you need to, it's like you're handing something out. This could be a resume. This could be letters, invitations, like something you've been sitting on that you know you need to do. Um, but what's crossing you is the Ten of Swords. I almost feel like it's self-betrayal, self-sabotage with this Ten of Swords. Because you should be building something. This is your current focus. But we're going to clarify because I'm wondering why the energy is still positive for you. But I feel like you're being given a little bit of a warning, Pisces, to make the choice. Make the choice to do it because uh, it's like maybe you need some kind of a new contract. There could be something you, an opportunity that you're kind of sitting on. You're like, oh, I'll get to it or I'll reach out to them. Well, you need to do that. Lock it in. That's the clear audience message that came out with this card. Nothing negative. You know, the devil's not always negative, even though it looks so very negative. <laughs> um, I just heard your friendly neighborhood Capricorn. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. But the end result of you locking it in is this could be a promising partnership, but we are going to clarify it, or a, a promising thing that you'll be going toward. What's beneath this lover's card? Here it is. Everything is fine. This could be an underlying fear of yours, Pisces, that something is not going to work out and that's why you're sitting on it or you're dreading actually doing it. But once you do it, it's done. But what is this? Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, King of Cups. There you are. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. It's like, yeah, some of you are sitting on a decision that needs to be made that will affect your future. Let's see, what is this Page of Wands? Yeah, some of you have left your focus at the door. Knight of Swords here with the Five of Pentacles. There's a lack of focus here that needs to be, like, reeled in. And it's not like... I'm not trying to be hard on you because this is so very relatable, honestly, but it's like some of you have just kind of been sitting on something. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting. Maybe a little bit lax. LAX. LAX might be significant. Some of you might be in the Los Angeles area, but it's like you've been like super just like sitting on something. And I know I've said that so many times. <laughs> Maybe you're dealing with somebody who repeats themselves a lot. Um, or you're dealing with a repetitive situation that you need to make the choice to exit. Maybe some of you are thinking of leaving LA. I'm hearing um, Maroon 5 leaving California. We have the temperance card here. It's like something that's troubling you though. Something, maybe you're worried about leaving something behind there. It's got you in your feelings a bit and you're trying to balance out your energies and figure out like maybe the right move to make or who you're gonna tell about this. Cause it feels like you have to break the news to somebody. What is this 10 of swords for my Pisceans? Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands and the Two of Cups. So something about this has to do with a relationship or um, some sort of commitment that you have. Leo energy there. The lion's head is really sticking out to me on this card right now. And I feel like it's a burden to you. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Confirmation there. It's like you are having trouble telling this, possibly telling a Leo that you are coming toward them or you're leaving somewhere to come toward them or you're leaving them to go elsewhere like i'm getting an energy of i love you but i have to go they could also be this queen of wands that came out in the beginning but i said what energy are you embodying and it could be that you're letting this person or the worry about how this person will react take over you 
What is this Three of Pentacles for my Pisces? Three of Pentacles, the Magician. And the Five of Wands here at the bottom. Hmm. So your, your current focus is manifestation on building something new. And it's something you're fighting for. Like something you really want. Maybe something... I'm hearing you left behind. What's beneath this five of wands, eight of pentacles? Some kind of project or seed that you had planted and you had grown. 88 could be important to you. This could be karmic. Yeah, seven of wands. Something you've had your guard up against or some a situation that's had its guard up against you, but yeah, there's earth energy here. That's double Virgo. Taurus Capricorn energy and then Capricorn is there as the advice. I feel like you're leaving one for another. I'm, I'm getting that energy. Somebody or Pisces, somebody around you is doing this. They're leaving one situation or person for another, but they can't make the choice or they're having trouble making the actual choice. But sometimes it's like the longer you sit on a decision, the fewer options you'll have. And we saw that seven of cups come out in the beginning. And it's like, you can make the choice now, but Everyone else isn't going to be sitting around waiting for you. Like, time is not frozen. Time is not frozen as you're contemplating this. People will change. Feelings will change. Circumstances will change. So there's a need for you to make the decision now. Or at least take those the first step forward. If there's somebody you need to communicate with, then you're being told to do so. Um, yeah, I just heard make that move right now, baby. Yeah, and then, then it'll be death to this conflict, death to the five of wands. And also death to a third party situation, but I feel like this third party situation is mental. I don't think it's a physical situation. I think it's someone who's trapped in their mind between two energies, whether it be like two jobs, like, oh my God, am I going to pick up and move? I've, I've built something here. But elsewhere, it's kind of where I want to be or I think I'll have more success. Or maybe I want to build something online. But first, I want to have a physical office. So like if somebody is thinking all these things. Um, I want to start a family over here. It's more affordable. There's somebody there that I can't get my mind off of who I want to go see. And I want to see if they're available. But I'm living with someone. Like I'm getting a situation like that. What's this devil? Can I get one on this devil, please? Six of Cups. Someone that's been left behind. A new start. Somebody wants like a new passionate beginning, you know, some kind of a new start with someone they can't get their mind off of. And it's becoming a problem for them. It's causing them confusion. And um, it's just like getting harder for them the longer they wait and sit on this decision. And they want to lock it in. Like they want to lock someone in. But I don't feel it's in like a creepy way for this. I feel like this person just wants to be like, I need to at least reach out. Test the waters energy I'm feeling. Yeah, it's causing emotional and mental turmoil. There's so very little water there, right? This person is standing in their emotions, but they're, they're on dry land for the most part. They're not drowning in the emotions. It's the, ment the mentality of it. Somebody might have a stuttering issue. <laughs> Tonight I'm having so much issue with my words, like getting the words out. Um, yeah, and somebody's also worried that someone's not going to want to hear from them with the seven of wands. It's like they're in, yeah. I feel like it's an earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, someone is worried that, that this person won't want to hear from them. We'll turn them away. But you will never know for sure unless you actually send a message. Yeah, that's the choice that I feel is being um, stressed here. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles working on it, working it out. And the Empress. 
So some of you might want to work it out with the mother of your children, but she might be dating someone new, just putting that out there. I, I just got that hit for somebody. Like you may be thinking like, oh, I can go back to the mom of my kids. She'll always be there. Or I can go back to the father of my children. He's always there for me. But this person might have met somebody else. Or they're about to. The Queen of Pentacles again. She keeps showing up there. It's been a long time. Okay, so someone's not going to be just sitting around on their hands waiting forever is the energy I'm getting. Or an opportunity even is not going to be sitting around waiting forever. If you know somebody's like maybe asked you to accept an invitation and you're like, oh, I'll think on it. And weeks have passed. They're not going to be so interested anymore if you're just letting time pass and you're not really making a move. Like, I'm like, okay, well, they must not be so interested. We'll fill the spot. Um, I'm getting like different scenarios. Yeah. Exactly. Sought after is what I'm getting. This person or this situation is sought after. And the opportunity will be coming to a close. The cycle will be complete. So that's why you're being urged to make this decision with the Seven of Cups here. And all those cards were upside down. Life got flipped, turned upside down underneath the Seven of Cups. I feel like because you're not learning a lesson, like there's something you're supposed to do. There's a lesson here, Pisces. There's somebody around you. I don't want to say you and be like accusatory, but there's somebody there's somebody in this situation who is supposed to already have worked up the nerve or, yeah, that's what I'm getting, worked up the nerve to send a message to someone or to take the initiative on a situation and you haven't done it. Um, do it, please, do it. You're being urged to do it. That's a milestone for you and you're kind of sitting on it and it just takes nothing to it but to do it is what I'm feeling. At least that first step. Even if the outcome is not what you wanted, you won't know unless you do it. So I'm getting an energy of somebody who likes to just kind of sit and think and think and think, but not actually take action. Yeah, Ace of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. And then clarifying the Six of Pentacles and the outcome, we have the Five of Cups and the Chariot. Yeah, it's not going to be there forever. It's not gonna be there forever. So there's a need for you to, I'm hearing gotta move on, that song. Talk about, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. <laughs> dun, 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 So whatever that means for you, it'll be different for you. You'll know what it means. High Priestess energy beneath this Ace of Cups. Something you know you need to be starting on. Don't sit on it any longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get moving. <laughs> Knight of Wands, okay? So um, let's pull an oracle for you. Funky Town. <laughs> Bam, this is what you need right here, that confidence. You're working on it. So this doesn't mean you don't have confidence. It just means that you're building it and you need to continue. And that's what's going to help you. Queen of Wands. This is confirmation of this Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands is all about taking action, cultivation. And she's very confident, gorgeous, commands the room. That's the energy you need to embody, whether you're a man or a woman. Men can be gorgeous too. Feather. Think first before you judge. Yep. And I feel like some of you are counting yourself out. You're taking yourself out of the game and like you're judging a situation prematurely. And you're you're just and I feel, yeah, this is you betraying yourself by not locking something in that's like right within your grasp. It's like right there for you. Lock it in. That's your advice with the devil here. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this makes sense to some of you. So whatever it is that you need to get moving on, it's time now. Like, it's time. You've had enough time to sit and think about it in that Pisces hangman energy. And it's really now time for you to at least take the next step and get moving. When you take that first step, the universe, they'll meet you. Your angels will meet you. God is going to meet you and bless you. You have to take the first step, though. You can't just... It, it all goes back to that saying, faith without works is dead, right? Because it's like, well, what do you want to happen if you don't actually take any moves toward it? Whatever that is for you, you'll know what it is. I love you, Pisces, and I hope this has been helpful. Until next time, I'll affirm with you 
for you and for me. All is well. All right, bye. Get moving. <laughs>